Revolution Scheduler Tool makes notification management more efficient by allowing customers to schedule notifications in advance, streamlining responsibilities for personnel and in turn, reducing the potential of human error. Scheduler allows users to create multiple calendars for different types of events, such as bell schedules, automated announcements, and secure building access. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to manage one calendar containing multiple events that are used to activate a notification. For this type of scenario, open the scheduler page, click new event, give the trigger event a name, and create a calendar that corresponds with the event. For recurring events, simply use the Repeat Event feature and choose from the list of available options before saving. Continue creating events for your calendar by repeating this process previously described. Once you've created all of your events, review your list using the Calendars List view, which displays all of your events organized by time. After you've reviewed your list, you're ready to create notifications using these events from this calendar to activate notifications. To assign calendar events to a notification, you'll need to create a new notification or assign the events to an existing notification. To do so, navigate to the Manage button in the menu bar and then click New Notification. In this example, we'll demonstrate scheduled bells using the stored audio notification type. Select Scheduler as the Notifications Activator, choose your calendar, and select All Events. This notification will be triggered whenever any scheduled event on this calendar occurs. Revolution gives users the option to include a message with notifications. Messages will be displayed on devices that support text or translated into audible broadcasts for text-to-speech notifications. If you'd prefer to send a tailored message that's relevant to a specific calendar event, you can add dynamic text by using the activator title and body fields by clicking the plus button and selecting the appropriate variable. The last step is to select your designated endpoints to receive the notification before clicking the save button.